Hello, this is my review of the high chair we are using for Edith, which is the Baby Dan Dan chair. It's made from rubber wood. We ordered the black originally because it was going to go with our kitchen dining set, whatever you call it. And here it is in all its glory. The pads can be removed and put in the wash. Um, it does come with a strap, but as I'll explain a bit, it's not a very good strap. This is the strap here. It's just a straightforward waist strap which buckles. This chair can be changed into a normal chair when you're done with it. Like, um, you can take this bit off, which is the, the waist bit. It literally, there's a bit of metal that slides down. So you have to take this top bar off to fit this on. Um, this is secured down through here. And that is the part that makes it the high chair. So when you change it from a high chair, you can just take this off if you wish and leave them sitting on it. And when they get bigger, you take this off and this level off and this is the seat which you can lift up you, you know you can put it at various levels why it goes all the way down here I mean who in I suppose you could put the foot plate right down there but it just seems you know like that wouldn't really happen but whatever so yeah there it is now there are a couple things I don't like about this one is how badly it wears if you look it's very soft and it scratches and like you get the odd marks on it and no matter what you do I mean if you clean it properly it's gonna well, it's just dust don't worry it's clean um, you're going to end up having the odd mark. Even here, it's been bashed just slightly. You can't really see. This video is a bit poor. Sorry about that. And, you know, it's not it's not great. That That is the one thing I don't like about it. That bit's been the worst. But I do actually have a spare one of those because when it came through, it was damaged. And I also have a spare leg because when that came through, it was damaged. So I have those to replace if I ever need to, but I probably won't. But there we go. Um, review wise, these come off very easily. Shall I throw on there? Hold on. Which is very, very handy because you can just stick them in the wash. Unfortunately, even hanging on the line or whatever, they come through the wash and they are they look like this. They're really creased. But when you put them on, as you saw, they, they do straighten out. The problem being they're faded, if you look. Like, they're, they're still black, but there's like a charcoal grey effect to them now. They've already faded, and they're only about six months old, which I think is quite disappointing. But they do. The worst bit on this is the strap. Now, this originally was one piece, but it was way too small to go around her. It was literally that. So I cut it in half at the back, because a lot of it was going from there across between here, if I th should come around here at the back. And it looped through went up which of course took away that much of it and no matter how I loosened it it was just too small so I cut it and sewed it on myself that is actually because I cut it that's from the strap it's frayed which is fine I'll just um, get some glue and deal with that but I've just literally sewed it on both sides which now means there's actually plenty of space left but if you can imagine that's almost the length there so it um there that I've taken off so it literally it barely fitted around her it was absolutely useless the problem also being because it only goes around her waist if it is even slightly loose the little madam pulls herself up out of it and climbs onto the table because of course we have it like this and if it's if you loosen it just that little bit too much she stands up and climbs out which is terrifying thankfully we never ever ever leave her unsupervised. There have been times that I've gone over to the worktop or the fridge to get something out and she pulls herself up and honestly it frightens the living daylights out of me. So I have to tighten it really, really tightly which of course makes her shout at me because she doesn't want to be literally pinned into the high chair. But that's the only option we've got. I was gonna get some baby reins and sort of sew them to it because that is this chair's biggest downfall. It's a ridiculously bad strap. But then I just think reins, my child's not a dog, I'm not really comfortable with that. And that, and I'm, I'm pretending it's that, it's actually that I get into town and I completely forget to buy them every time. And by the time I do, it won't really be an issue. But I will, I've got some in the house somewhere from someone got me some for George. But as I said, I just think, mm, my child's a child, not a dog. But that's my take on reins. Um, so yes, tangents again. There, that's where you go for it. I'd probably give it a three out of five. I mean, it's, no, actually I'd say four out of five. It's an excellent chair. I definitely prefer it to the horrible fold-out ones. 
you know, it's so much easier to clean. I can just pop this in the garden and scour it down. Simple. Or I stand it on that worktop bit there and I clean it off. Or I just, sometimes it just goes there and I wash it down. It's very easy to wash down, very easy to get the stains off. It's just that it marks and the strap is useless. But if you, you know, given a heads up on that one, I suppose that's, that's the only thing that I would say is a pain in the butt. And when she's bigger, it will be converted. Though we actually, obviously, that's Edith's chair there. It's just got a bag on it because we're going swimming later. So it's full of towels and swim costumes. Um, so, yes, that is the Dan chair. It is good. It's definitely, you know, having had different high chairs for each of my children, this is by far my favourite. The Trip Trap um, Stoke tri Stocky, Stoke, however you want to pronounce it, uh, Trip Trap is probably a much better, like the straps are probably better, it comes with trays, it comes with all these options, nicer looking fabrics um, and all this stuff, but it's like three times the amount of money, so no, sorry, not worth it. Because <laughs> I looked into that and it was like two, two fifty, and if you wanted to buy anything, you're spending nearly three hundred pounds, or was it nearly two hundred pounds? Do you know I lose track? This was seventy quid. Um, so yeah, I went with that. So here it is. I would recommend it if you don't mind the fact that it will get a bit worn, that it will chip. I mean, I've got black markers, and <clears throat> I touch it up with those because I'm anally retentive. Uh, and as I said, I I modified the straps myself, and if I'd realised.